Hi folks. Today, um, I just wanted to tell you, we just got back from Arizona. And by the way, we just had another earthquake, 4.9, but we're all fine. And I wanted to tell Jared in Wichita Falls that the bit's on the way, and he mentioned he's going to be Brandon tomorrow, which is Saturday. And uh, Jared, if you take all these loops I've been throwing, and you slow down long enough to try them out, if they let you, you'll find out that you don't have to tail cattle down. I don't care from five weight calves up to mature cows. You don't have to choke cattle down. You can uh, rope them and trap feet and lay them down. And it's a lot of fun. And, and most guys talk about 300 calves a day branding, which is typical on a ranch. For me, a good day of branding would be 100 calves a day. So that's one of the things about this style of roping. Slow down and enjoy it. Now, and on a colt, when I take a colt to a Brandon, I'll heal two calves. And if it goes well, which it typically does, then I get off and go tie him up because he's done. That's my, my program. That's plenty because of all the things that are going on. It's just not the roping deal. It's all the fire and the people and the noise and the smells. And you don't need bragging rights to say a two-year-old pulled 40 calves. That's not bragging. Okay, now Wes, he, wanted, he said he owns a rope, but he doesn't know what to do with it. So you can either have a hanging, or I'll show you how, we, how you build a loop. Okay, Wes, this is for you. Here's a lariat. He said you've got one. If your rope is 30 feet long and it's an extra hard lay heel rope, save it because you'll need to pull trucks out of the mud with it. Don't rope with it. Now, I use a 60 foot 516 soft lay. To build a loop, when you're first starting, put your left hand in front of the hondu. Now pull with your right hand. Now pick it up and put it back in your left hand. Pull with your right hand. That's how you start learning. Okay, now you've got that down. And incidentally, that's really good if you're riding a colt. So now you're going to take your loop and take the hondu side and cross it under. Reach across with your index finger and your thumb and roll your hand backwards. That's how you build your loop next. Under, hold, circle. That's how you build a loop. You get that far, give me us a call and we'll go from there. Now, I'm going to throw a couple backhand shots because I don't think we elaborated on them a whole lot. They're pretty darn useful. So there's a lot of reasons. One of them is, is if you've got something healed in the corral by one leg, and it's kind of on the fight and it hates everybody, then you can use a backhand throw so that the horse you're sitting on can get out of the way if things fall apart. What I try to do is I get kind of in line with the hip if I'm going to rope the head. And I point my horse's head to the left a little bit so I can see. Swing backwards and throw with your thumb up. That's how you neck. Okay, so now you've thrown it and caught it with a backhand. Your partner's got one heel caught. Now you can get way out in front. You lay your rope down on the ground and ride around your critter. My friends in Georgia, I think you were talking about this. This is the highest percentage one for catching the front leg. So now your healer just lets it walk ahead and say, for example, the healer has the right hind 
you want the two front legs or the right front. If it's just the left front, don't do it because they're not going to lay down. So now, they walk across it. You jerk your slack. You get out in front. And here's where it all falls apart. You just sit there, dally and sit there. Now you slowly step back and the header should keep as close as he can to the animal if you have both front legs because if you get way out there a lot of times they'll pop their leg out of it. So what I try to do is I try to keep my rope here and I see if my healer can walk it backwards. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick those front legs up off the ground. One hind leg's already off so you just took three legs out from under a stool and the critter will lay down. So Jared, that's something you might want to remember tomorrow when you're branding. For a heel shot, the delivery is like this. It's the same as the head shot. The angle changes more, and when you do that, you snap your wrist, and that's what lays it over the back of the animal. get your left hind leg. There's one other thing that you can use the backwards backwards delivery. And remember everything's fair in the corral. If you need to catch one hind leg and there's a committee, in other words there's at least three of you roping, just take a, a small rope and a coil, small loop, swing backwards and toss the rope, looking at the hawk, and now your header can move it a step and you can probably pick up the hind leg if that's what you're after. Same with the front. Now the reason I'm talking about the front feet is because if you've got a rope already on the head and one on the heels or two heels and they're just standing there, You can throw it in front and let the critter walk forward. Now you can rope front feet. The reason the backwards swing works good is because if you end up on this side of the animal and you can slide in under without hitting the header's rope, it's pretty slick. Now obviously on the other side you would just throw a sidearm. But let me show you something that's legal. I'm, not, I'm talking about in the krill. So you just throw your loop and it just lands on the ground. Okay? Leave it there. It's all fair. Your header can make you look like a real hero or your he healer can. And then someday he'll be throwing that sorry loop on the ground. It doesn't matter. The idea is to get the cattle laid down without choking them to death. Okay. Appreciate everybody getting a hold of us, and yes, we are going to make a video, and um, thanks a lot. If you want to look at our website, it's thedisciplinedride.com, and um, hope you enjoy it, and talk to you later. Adios.